Hello everyone, my name is Clara and welcome to this new weekly reading vlog! So this is my third week for the Magical Readathon of Steam by Chi. If you want to watch week 1 and 2, you can, it's already up on my channel. Just so you know, week 1 is divided in two vlogs because on Sunday of the first week, I hosted also my own 24-hour readathon, so I combined the two and I did a separate vlog for it. Right now, I'm on book six of the eight ones I had to read for the readathon. I'm currently reading A Lesson in Vengeance. So that's what I'm going to be reading. I don't have lots of things planned for the week. I do have to work and to arrange a bit my life before work starts again. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy this vlog and let's do this, I guess. Let's hop on to Monday. Hey, so we are Monday. It's a new Monday of a new week. And I'm here with my Spider-Man t-shirt and some leggings because I'm not going anywhere today. It's currently almost 1 p.m. and I was gonna say nothing but that's a lie. I finally had my lay-in this morning, so I slept until 10 a.m. which felt so good. And then I worked for the blog, which I'm um, coming back to in September and I have so many new ideas that I'm so excited to work on. I started I actually already wrote a whole blog post because I was so excited about it and I'm just feeling so creative right now and then I exported my last vlog that I'm going to post tonight which was a struggle but I kept hope and it finally exported. Right now probably going to go reading. I'm reading A Lesson in Vengeance. I'm 25% in. If you want to see my first impressions, you will have to watch the vlog before uh, because I had a lot to say, but just so you know, I'm loving it. <laughs> so I'm really excited to come back to it. Honestly, I could finish it today. And when it comes to the readathon, after that, I only have two books left and The Bone Child Daughter and then we read Daisy Jones in six. But I'm waiting for my post-it notes, aesthetic post-it notes to write, so I can annotate Dave Jones. And then we'll see where we go, but I keep filming my entire month of August because I fell back in love with vlogging and I'm so excited. And I know once work will start again, I will only be able to vlog once every two weeks like I used to. And I don't know, I miss you all and I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. So yeah here's to a chill day and we're gonna we're going to get to reading it's 2 p.m i haven't done anything i just ate and that has my video going up tonight and i took some pictures for instagram and then i made myself the prettiest latte and now i'm going to be reading it's way less hot this week so i opened all of my windows letting all the cool fresh air enter the flat i'm going to be sitting on my chair by the window and reading we're going to make some progress today So, it's 6 p.m. and I basically done nothing this afternoon. I just chilled. I rewatched an episode of Game of Girls. I watched some YouTube, tried to discover some booktubers and stuff. And then I picked up my book again. And I'm on page 239, so I'm almost at the end. But this book is making me so anxious and so there must be a lot of noises right now, I'm really sorry. Basically the main character, Felicity, uh, comes closer to this person called Ellis who shares the same house. 
um, in their school and she is so toxic and I can see where this is going regarding other story but this is making me feel this is making me suffocating and this is making me anxious and I just absolutely hate it the relationship is awful um, the main character somehow sense that it's not normal at one point she was like why am I apologizing she should be the one apologizing but she's com it is is completely crazy and I sent that from the first time she spoke and I just can't with her and she's terrifying and yeah so I'm going to take a break right now honestly I can finish this book tonight we'll see how that goes because it's making me really anxious I lived my share fair of toxic relationships and nothing as crazy as that because this is going straight into the horror genre um, but I just can't I just can't so I'm going to watch some YouTube some peaceful YouTube and I'll check with you later but for now I'm just I wanted to be scared what I am but not in a good way like I'm just yep anyway <laughs> So you can probably hear but there are music if there is music outside so i'm probably going to be reading with my airpods on to cancel the noise but i'm reading my dark academia book with my dark academia candle from library lights as always i also have a cup of lady grey tea and i'm going to finish my book tonight yeah. um hopefully it will go well and yeah because as you know it made me anxious but i think i can binge with it and be okay with it so we'll see how that goes but i have the perfect situation i'm making myself a cozy reading night i did that we are tuesday let's talk about last night and finishing a lesson in vengeance so as I told you, I stopped reading a lesson in Vengeance at one point because it was too triggering, because the relationship was so toxic and there was something else that was making me feel bad that I couldn't really identify. And so yesterday night I was like, okay, you're reading this super fast, you can finish it in one night. So I grabbed my tea, I lit up the candle, I sat on my chair and I finished the 35% left I had on the book. And I felt so that because clearly the main character is going through depression and many other things many other trauma and like a narration he's so heavy and I'm just getting out of the depressive episode myself and that wasn't needed at all so when I finished the book I felt extremely triggered and as I told you in my last clip you could hear music outside is actually coming from my neighbors so my neighbor isn't here it's a daughter who is a full grown woman who sometimes come by to like I guess take care of the plants or anything and the noise keep going again and again and so it was like 9 30 10 p.m and I was starting to feel extremely anxious because I had all of these thoughts that were mad that were the main character's thoughts in my head and I couldn't think and reassure myself or anything because there was too much noise and I'm really sensitive about noises and I just I felt I was suffocating truly so I tried calling my friends um, and then I ended up calling my boyfriend who lives just next door and he he can't be, I need, I told him like, I just, I'm not having a panic attack or anything. I'm just feeling a bit anxious. I just need you to calm me down and to tell me that the book is just a book and just to like make me refocus. So he told me about the book, but the thing is the noises keep coming and kept coming and I just couldn't concentrate on anything. So he told me like, Clara, you need to go downstairs and tell them to make less noises. like. And I was too scared to do that, so we actually came and he went with me downstairs. And this woman was actually 
watching a movie extremely loudly so I told her to please turn it down and she was really rude um, but she did turn it down so yeah about the book I really enjoyed it I gave it four stars despite being really triggered by it I think it was a mix of truly devious and the secret history but like the secret history for younger people I'm not really sure like is it considered why yeah, she's 18 it's happening in a prep school so it should be YA, but there are some explicit scenes happening, um, so it's weird. It's contemporary, definitely, it's a bit of horror, and overall it was good. Everything, I guess, from the beginning was right, like there was no surprise, no real surprises um, out there, but it was a good dark academia book if you're looking for a dark academia you have it all here but now that it triggered me i'm done with it and i'm going through my almost last book of the readathon recent which is the bone child daughter that actually received from the publisher and never read it i'm keeping my Bongo bookmark uh, because i think it fits perfectly for my necromancer theme and i'm really excited to start this I'm really excited to start a new story and to focus on something else and yeah it's really gloomy outside I'm waiting for a nurse to come by because I have an issue with one of my things for my diabetes and this afternoon I'm joining my best friend at the um, optician to get my contact lenses and she will get hers as well so she will try them out for the first time and then she's coming back home with me so in the meantime I will be reading a bit so yeah that's all for now <laughs> i think that was a long checkup but like yeah thank god my boyfriend was here last night he stayed until 1 a.m and we just chatted and everything and um we just chatted outside and everything and it was great but like thank god he actually made me go downstairs and face my face and tell people to make a bit less noises <laughs> Yeah, thankfully he was here. But yeah, anyway, see you soon. yesterday um, basically in the morning I was still feeling a bit sad about what happened the day before I had to like really get over it and then when I saw my best friend I've been able to express everything I was feeling so I was feeling a lot better but I haven't been able to read and then we came back home um, and it was raining like crazy if you haven't seen like Paris was drowning <laughs> um, we dance in the rain it, anyway and um at one point during we started rewatching watching Game Walkers, some episodes and then at one point in the evening i was feeling down but honestly it's just because my periods are coming i could feel that it was like period sadness you know it was just me pmsing um so we just talked a bit and then we decided to go for a ride and we just listened to the first act of hamilton and then when we came back home, we were done with the first act, so we just stayed.
Daily Ludoc in our car, laying on the seats, just screaming the lyrics and I felt better, but I just haven't read. Right now it's 1 p.m. My boyfriend is coming at 3 p.m. I do have to eat, but I want to start on reading before, so I'm going to do that now. Um, um, I know I'm going to start The Bonchard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. I have no idea what it's about, except that it's supposed to be fantasy and it's added fiction. Hopefully I'm right. If you are following this vlog, if you are following this vlog, you know how wrong I have been about books. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump into it, I guess, and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it won't trigger me as much as a lesson in vengeance just did. <laughs> let's do this. So my boyfriend will be arriving shortly. Um so I thought I could quickly give you an update. I've been reading not a lot but a bit and I read 50 pages of The Bonchard Daughter and for now I'm really liking it. It's really easy to read. I am getting the whole ID. I don't have the whole plot yet because we have so many point of views and when I, where I stopped it's yet another point of view like I think it's the fourth one we have. So there is a lot of things happening. But I'm really happy about it. It seems like a really complex but well explicit words world. Um, and I'm excited to get to know more of it. It's really easy to get into and to read. I'm loving for now the characters of Lynn, the uh the bone child daughter. <laughs> and we'll see where this is going, but for now, all is well and I'm excited to pick it up again. So Talk with you later. Hello everyone. We are Thursday. It's almost 3 p.m. and I haven't done much today. I woke up well earlier because there were some works outside, but then I decided to go out of bed at 10. I ate my breakfast and then I read a lot. I read 150 pages now, page 200 of my book. And then I went back to sleep and I woke up at 2 p.m. And I just ate and now I made myself some coffee. And I'm gonna watch some YouTube and then get back to reading. I think I can finish my book today, which annoys me only in the sense I just received uh, an email from Amazon telling me that my beautiful pastel post-it notes won't arrive to their planned and they will it will take them one or two days to come and I just have my last book to read which is a reread of Daisy Jones of the Secret which I reread a lot of times and I don't want to reread it just to reread it I want to annotate it because it's my favorite book and I wanted to do it with it, so if I'm done with my with one child daughter before the post-it notes have arrived, I will have to read something else that is that has nothing to do with the real font. So yeah. Anyway, um, so I am almost at the alphabet. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I the only thing that is troubling me that I have some problems really understanding what the story is going to be about and I'm already halfway through it so I should know I get what every we have a lot of point of views a lot and I get what everyone is doing who they are what they want and stuff I'm mostly interested in two characters uh Warlin and Jovis the rest of them I don't care that much there is one though I can't remember her name, but I'm really interested in it because I think she is she may be linked to Lynn in some ways. I may be wrong about that, but I'm not really getting the whole thing yet. I don't know why. It's weird. Maybe because there are so many point of views and we have so many informations and the point of view usually pick up right where we left them, so we just have everything, every single detail, but like the chapters are only 10 pages long, so it goes really fast to read. But also I feel like I'm not making any real progress, if you know what I mean. So it just takes time to get to the point. Basically, 
from what I understand at least. The emperor has been ruling for a long and a long while, I think maybe a few decades. And there is this revolution that is starting to grow because people are getting tired and stuff. And he's supposed to name an heir. And he has a daughter, but her daughter lost her memories and he doesn't want her to be at the, on the throne if she doesn't remember who she is. So he has a foster son. So they are basically competing for that. And so we can follow the Bonchard daughter's point of view, who is really new to everything, who is really lost, but really kind, and I think would make a great empress. I guess she would want to do things differently. And we have the point of view of some people from the revolution and some people from the empire and everything that is happening, like how the emperor's decisions are affecting any of those people that are many different islands. For example, let me show you. We have a map. This is the empire. It has lots of different islands. And this is the imperial island where Lin lives. And this one stinks at the beginning of the book. And the emperor doesn't seem to do anything about it. When, if I was an empire, if I was an emperor, I would be weirded out and really scared about what just happened. But anyway, we don't have the point of view of the emperor. And there is this magic uh, with bones, like he's creating um, animal-like thingies. And he doesn't want to teach his daughter yet the magic because of everything that I said. And um, the revolutionaries are called the Charles Few. So, yeah. And yeah, for now, I'm mostly enjoying the point of view of Jovis and Lynn. I think their arcs are the most interesting, interesting ones to follow. Um, and there is this other girl that I can't remember the name for the name of me. So yeah, it's interesting. I just, it's really slow. It, it doesn't feel slow, but it is. That's what's troubling me. Like, I don't mind slow-paced plots. I have said that again and again. I love slow-paced plots. But really, it's just a lot of things happen, but at the same time, nothing happens. And that's what's really weird. Like, it's not just long phrases, long narrative descriptions of everything that is just kind of like immobilizing um, the story and that's what people really don't like usually like long descriptions and everything and some moments that are really useful or that don't give you a better understanding of the story you just want action and action and action and here it's, it's a lot of action but it doesn't really go somewhere so we'll see i mean Things can only happen for the only half, for the last half of the book. So, I don't know yet if I want to spend my day chilling, like sleeping, <laughs> and doing nothing else, or if I want to be productive because I'm not doing anything today nor tomorrow. Um, but I have to make it to do this, all the things I have to do, because I do have a few stuff to do to prepare. And we'll see if I only work tomorrow or if I motivate myself to work a bit today. The day is still long. I just feel like I just started, but the day is still long. Anyway, I'm going to try to put my contact lenses on because I'm practicing. And then I'm going to watch some YouTube, drink my coffee, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, bye! Also, I'm in my Hellfire Club t-shirt, which, as I told you when I bought it, is an XL, and I thought it would just be oversized on me. Turns out it looks like a dress. Um, so I guess it was a long t-shirt to start with, but like, it's really way too big for me. I feel like it's going to look ridiculous when I'm going to wear it. I don't know, I have to try with some pants, but like, I put them on yesterday night, 
because my stomach hurts it so much I just need something that didn't touch my stomach my PJs are tops and bottoms and there is elastics around it and when my stomach hurts because of my periods I don't want to wear that and yeah otherwise I haven't vlogged yesterday because I spent the day with my boyfriend I ended up going to his house we played video games we watched the end of Cusco because he started it last, the day before and fell asleep in front of it. We watched all the episodes of Groots. We um, played with his cat. We went outside to, to, to do some stuff. Um, we had a lot of fun. And then at the end of the day, we went to McDonald's and got some food to watch Predator. The second movie which I absolutely adored um, and yeah it was a really fun day we had a lot of fun it made me really happy uh, but my stomach just started hurting at the end of the day I'm supposed to have my periods tomorrow so I slept in this oversized t-shirt and I'm still in it I'm going to take a shower don't you worry <laughs> Anyway, that was a long bit. Sorry. Bye. Have I done anything? Nope. I did put on my contact lenses way faster than previously, so that's good. I've just been chilling here, um, mostly watching TikToks to be honest. I'm going to go back to YouTube, but I just realized I could still be reading for the magical readathon while waiting for the tabs because they are quests and I'll be done with my TBR no matter what in no time. And the months isn't done yet. There is a whole week left and three days. So I'm going to go look out for the quests I can still read for. I pre-ordered Babel a while ago and I'm hoping it's going to arrive on time. So I really want to read that one. That's my most anticipated release for the year. But we'll see. I just need to find some quests I can fulfill. Can fill? can do <laughs> before the end of the month so yeah all is going well that's all oh wow bye <laughs>
interesting and I'm so intrigued to pick up the sequel now because where the story is heading I'm just a huge fan of it actually more than I was at the beginning and yeah I was right about all of my theories and it felt so good so I cannot read Daisy Jones yet but I did found three quests I can fulfill with the books I still want to read this month because I want to read Babel I want to read I can't remember the name but it's a horror novella that is the book club book of the month for the literally dead book club that I'm joining from now on and then the summer at on pretty because I ordered it and I'm still hoping it would arrive in time so I found three quests and cattle that can go with those three books so I think I'm going to start with the novella uh, because that's the only one I have. I don't have paper yet, it's not out. I don't have a similar so pretty. I have to check my belt boxer. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to get ready for the day and start on working. But this was fun. <laughs> if my outfit doesn't scream, I have my period that it's my first day. I don't know what is. Let's get to work. As you can see by my sweat. So far, I kind of reorganized all of my work stuff and started preparing the bags that I'll be taking with me once I go back to school. And it's not done yet because I still have a few things to do, but anyway. And now I'm working on my dressing and I only reorganize the sweaters. I have too many sweaters for the life of me. Um, I'm going to go through my pants and skirts and then move on to my shirts and they will be basically over but I'm tired I I'm really into keeping everything organized and stuff but my dressing I can never do that and I think I should just like once a week no, I think I just I should just throw away so many things. Like I'm keeping so many stuff that I'm not even wearing that or just memories or anything and I shouldn't keep them. One day I'll do that. For now I'm just trying to organize the mess. Anyway. This is a mess. This is the organized part. Woohoo! I have too many sweaters, like you can't even imagine how many sweaters I have and I'm going to order some more so yeah I just want to give up I did decide to throw out some clothes not enough but a few I'm just tired I know I feel better once this will all be done and I can do it but right now I don't want to <laughs> please help me Oops. Sorry. Day when we did not exchange our hellos. I wasn't looking out for you. It's done. It's actually done. No, I hope this will serve me as a lesson. To actually buy things I need. I'm tired. Bye. I'm really glad I just went to the mailbox because not only were there some of my boyfriend's birthday gifts but there was a summer and pretty that I just told you about and I'm so happy it's so short it's written in big in a big font I really wanted the tv show cover because I just love the tv show so much I think it's going to be fun and I just bought on my kindle what moved the dead which is the novella that I told you about it's a retelling of a story by Edgar and Poe so I'm really intrigued to read this this will be for today this will be for the rest I'm still waiting for my post-it notes uh, but anyway and we'll see when they will, will actually be shipped and be sent my way anyway that's all I have to get outside for a bit I just change my pants but I look so cozy and comfy and I'm so glad I can wear this in August <laughs> so I went to pick up my delivery which is which was one of my boyfriend's birthday presents big shout out to Alice who drove me there instead of me taking the bus for like a hour when it's just 
five minutes drive from my house. It's nice not having a driving license. But now that it's done, I'm going to take a shower, take off my contact lenses. I cannot forget that. Yesterday I went in the shower with my contact lenses. Nope. And I'm going to put on my PJ and keep on reading. I read 57 pages of What Moves the Dead. And I'm really loving it for now. It's a novella, so I don't think I will be disappointed. We'll see how that goes, but I have like 70% left of the book already and I'm just really loving it. Really, really, really loving it. So let's see how it goes. It kind of reads like a classic, like a gothic, whoa, <laughs> novella. Um, so we see about that. I'm excited. Anyway, I have to document this, but this is my first time putting off my contact lenses in one try. Yeah, me, I really understood how that works. Now into the putting in. I'm still struggling. This morning it took me 10 minutes, but it used to be an hour, so we're getting there, people. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself, yeah, me. And we are all ready to read. I love my living room. Look how cozy it is. It's 10 p.m. and it's been a while since I actually finished What Moved the Dead. Um, so, I read it for the quest in which you had to read a book with more than one animal on the cover or the title and there is a rabbit but there is a dead one in it as well, so it works. I gave it 5 stars, I absolutely adored it, I thought it was amazingly written, I was surprised by everything, I was into the story so much that I even was scared and that's what I wanted and I think the novel format was perfect for it it kept me and any readers I think entertained and into the story and we didn't need anything more and it was just amazing like really one of the best things I read this year it was inspired by The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe, which is a short story, like 17 pages, that I read immediately after because the author said that he loved the story, but he wanted more from it. Like, he wanted to know more from the illness that Madeline was suffering from and everything. And that's why he wrote What Moved the Dead, which is a retelling of this short story. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, because I too thought he was too short and I wanted more. I love Edgar Allan Poe, I, I love his writing style, so I wanted more. Um, I did underline some parts of What Moved the Dead that I want to read. If you allow me, of course. Okay. The main character made a lot of comments about his English. He made a lot of comments about other people like french people german people and american people and this is set in like the 19th century so anyway and the first thing he said about americans and that made me laugh so much i'm sorry if you're american this is not me saying anything he said sometimes it's hard to know if someone is insulting or just an american <laughs> i just thought it was funny then he talked about a french woman and it was in parentheses, and he said, The French woman once told me that I had no poetry in my soul. I recited a dirty limerick to her, and she threw a lemon at my head. Paris is a marvelous city. <laughs> that made me laugh too, like... Yeah. And then... About the Germans, he said... He, he said that he spoke quite good. Moravian, French and English, and a bit of German. And then he said in parentheses again, Mostly because Germans always instantly switch to another language where they inevitably speak better than you do and politely ask you to practice it with them. And I remember this old friend that I had who lived in Berlin for a while who told me she couldn't um, really practice a German because everyone was talking in English to her and in English so well. I just thought it was funny that he was in that too. And then in parentheses, the last thing I underlined was a line I really liked. It was near the end. And he say, we did not run. 
If we run, then we would have to admit there was something to run from. If we ran, then the small child that lived in every soldier's hut knew that the monster could get us. So we did not run, but it was a near thing. I just think it's... It really sums up the books perfectly. Um, I loved it, but I cannot go to sleep with that. I want to read a bit more, so I'm going to pick up the summer I'm pretty and I'm going to annotate it. Once my beautiful pastel tabs will arrive, I will add them to the book. But I just really want to annotate it and and see what the book is about because it show the story felt old, like the 2012 YA book, which is basically what it is, um, but they did modernize it a bit, I think, so I want to see what it looks like originally, and it's really short, I won't read it all of it tonight, but I want to start it, so yeah, it should be light and fun, all that I need. We have to agree to disagree for this one last time. Good morning, guys. I'm all dressed up at it's almost 10 a.m. Because I'm meeting up with my friend Roxanne in Paris, we're going just to go to a Starbucks and catch up a bit, even though we saw each other last week. But I just want I love Roxanne so much, and I just want to see her as much as possible before work starts again. She's a teacher as well, so. We have the same vacations and it's all good. I did start um, the summer turned pretty yesterday. I just read two chapters to be honest. And for now it's fun. Like it's really light, it's really fun, and it reminds me of the TV show so much. So I think the TV show is a really good adaptation. I read it for the prompt of the quest, which was to read a book with a movie adaptation. It has a TV show adaptation, so I thought it worked. And I like it. I just think the writing style isn't the best. It's really rep repetitive and simple, which, is, which isn't a bad thing, you know, but it is repetitive and kind of intense too. And it doesn't describe things so well. Like the main character would say some intense things in the narration, but we have no backstory or background to it. And she also, like the first time she sees Conrad again, he, the first thing he says is, I like you better with your glasses, but like we had no description of her. So I didn't know that she wore contact lenses. I didn't know that she used to wear glasses. I didn't know that she like changed or anything. I don't know if that was the purpose to see it through the eyes of the boys that she changed and she didn't realize it. But because I saw the show, I understood everything. But I felt like I feel like sometimes it's missing a bit of narration, like it's going way too fast, and it should take, just take its time to explain to us where the feelings are coming from, and where we at because we're meeting them for the first time, and yeah. But that's all already. I'm not going to like complain about a YA book that came out a long while ago, that is for teenagers. I just. I just think the writing style could be a bit more precise. Other than that, it's all fine for now. I'm having fun annotating it. I do love some stuff. I love how I love how she talks about how she's only living for the summer. It really reminds me of myself as a child. I always live for autumn and everything, but I always had that different life in the summer because. For the whole month of July, I would go with my grandparents and my sister and then with my brother. We have a tennis gap, so yeah. Um, in the south of France, we used to have an apartment there and I would meet up with some long distance cousins and we would have so much fun for the entire month, just playing on ODS, going to the beach. I even met up some boys once and or twice actually, and it was so much fun. And then my parents would come to pick us up and we would go for the entire month of August in Corsica and I would go with my family in this little village and it feels like a bubble, you know? And we would go to the annual party on the 15th of August. We would just go to the beach, go to the lakes, go to the mountains um, 
and I just had this very different and traditional life in July and August that was always happening and I just related to that a bit and like she said that she was a bit jealous of people who know Comrade and Jeremiah in the winter because she knew them in the summer but not the whole year and she was a bit jealous of that and I could get that like I remember that my cousins and people I only saw during the summer I was like what would it be like to know them for the entire year and yeah so that's cute I have to leave in nine minutes so I'm going to hurry <laughs> Um, I'll talk with you later. I'm going to read in the train and I'm sure I can read a lot of it. So, see ya! I wasn't looking out for you. I'm sorry, I'm so shallow. But I'm still looking. Hey everyone, it's 4 p.m. I just came back home. We ate lunch, we went shopping. She actually arrived late, so I went shopping first on my own, and then we went shopping again together. And then we went to Starbucks, and then we came home. I did read 50 pages of the summer at Tom Freddy, have been annotating it. Um, my main complaint for now is that it's actually really messy, the chapters are really short and they go from one subject to another. Sometimes they will talk about really deep adult, really deep subjects about the adults. And sometimes it will go on memories or how Belly felt like jealous of how distant she was to the boys and all that stuff. And I don't know, for now there isn't a real story really going on, so we'll see. But I did buy some stuff, so I want to show you if you want to. I bought many, many things. First thing I bought at, you know, this shop um, was this for my computer because I don't have a proper case and it was time. I bought one, I got some of this for back to school day so I can put on some posters in my classroom. I got some stuff for my girlfriend's birthday. Mm. Then I decided I'm not going to take back my bullet journal. I'm going to go back to reading journaling but very differently than what I used to do. I'm keeping my journal but I do not want to bullet journal anymore. And I thought that the only thing that was making me want to go back to it was because I love to do to make to-do lists of the week and then of the day. And so I thought I could just do that on my own. And so to do that at Monoprix, I bought those pads. I bought three of them so you can last a year um, for every day of the week. And I can just write down my to-do list of things that are planned. And I bought this notebook, which I can rip up the pages of and it will allow me to write my to-do list of the week, of the month, and what I want to do with it. And I'm really free and I can stick it anywhere. So that's for that. Um, I also bought, I told you I wanted to add some purple in my room. It's really hard to find any purple items right now. I did found those uh, dried flowers that I'm going to put in a vase at bought them at the same shop I bought my laptop case and I went at Maison du Monde to get a vase I liked I'm going to cut them so it can actually fit properly which looks like this and then I got some chai latte um, pumpkin spice I don't know what it was but we'll see and I got two candles one from Monoprix purple it's little and a bigger one from Flying Tiger and that's all I also got this bag so I'm going to put that all the way and 
I'll talk with you later. Bye. Exchange our hellos. I wasn't looking out for you. I'm sorry, I'm so shallow. But I'm still looking forward to watching part two of Deathly Hallows with you. I was feeling a tad anxious and I'm home, I'm going to eat and I'm going to read. I'll give you an update then I had 200 pages of my book. See ya! So it's 10.20 and I'm really tired, I haven't slept well and I had to get up early this morning. I'm basically halfway through my book. I'm on page 144 and I'm enjoying it. It's actually getting somewhere now. There is a story that actually even resembles somehow the show. Belly, the main character, is really naive and impressionable and she just wants to fit in. And it actually makes me like her more because I think if I was her age, I was 16, and I was living all of this, I would feel the same. She feels excluded in everything, she had the best friend who she thinks is basically better than her, she was very jealous of her, and she grew up with this... with this summer plans when she was just a little sister, and not part of the gang, you know, and I really feel for her. The writing style still isn't my favorite thing. I still think it's lacking some stuff for me to fully grasp uh, everything. But there are some really interesting moments or like pages, paragraphs that I absolutely love. And it's, it's good. For now it's a 3 out of 5 stars. So that's good. I, I, I read to all the boys I loved before, I actually haven't loved it when I read it. I don't know what my thought on it would be now. But I feel like this one is really different. Maybe because it's older, I don't know, but it, it feels like messy, you know? But also in a nice way. I don't know how to explain it, I don't know how to explain this feeling. But you really feel like you're into the mind of a 16 years old girl. And that's what I wanted from it, because that's what it is. And her life is just so messy, and she's thinking about so many things, and she wants to impress everyone. She just wants to to fit in, and she's so insecure and jealous and everything. And I'm just, I get that. So it's a pretty nice read for now. It's a pretty nice YA novel. I will keep on reading tomorrow and I could finish it tomorrow to be honest so we'll see how that goes I kind of forget I have to read a New York they're sending me the arc physically but it's still I haven't write for a review I have to write at the end of August beginning of September so I need to get on that anyway that's all for now it's up the day. Don't I look cute? I love it. Hello everyone, we are Sunday and just showed you my outfit. I'm really happy to be wearing this. So trigger warning for talks about weight and eating disorder. So if you don't want to listen to it, I'll be putting the trigger warning 
here and as soon as it disappears it'll be free again but basically i've been struggling with an eating disorder for let's say six years kind of kind of been more but i've been diagnosed six years ago and my weight has been going up and down and up and down and up and down and for i don't know like almost a year now i feel like i'm mostly out of it and I'm wearing this skirt that I used to wear before the eating disorder came in and I'm just really happy, like, it makes me happy. Anyway, let's not talk about that. I don't know what I told you yesterday, I don't know where I stop. My boyfriend is arriving in an hour, I just want to enjoy a nice day with him. I probably won't be reading, it's okay, I think I read a lot. I am... Um, I Yes, I told you I was I for I threw the summer at I'm pretty. This morning I woke up with a panic attack, which wasn't fun. And then I managed to go back to sleep. And then when I woke up, I had tons of ideas for my Instagram. And I'm so proud of myself for what I did. Because those ideas I have had for so long in my head. But I just never knew how to really make them come true. Because I was in depression and everything. And now that I know I have a strong plan, I know where I'm heading. And I'm so excited because I have so many ideas. I have so many ideas for YouTube, so many ideas for the blog, and so many ideas for Instagram. And they will all be different. And I'm really excited about it all. So, that's all, really. <laughs> um, I'm going to be eating, and then my boyfriend will arrive. And we'll see how I conclude this vlog. But, see you later. Also, I put on my contact lenses on almost first try so i'm all good now i know how to put contact lenses on which is exciting seek me you wouldn't notice i had a panic attack this morning and that's what woke me up but anyway see you soon with another update or a conclusion to this vlog i don't know what will happen but yeah bye this vlog um i had a great week despite the anxiety things i read four books i finished a lesson in vengeance i read the Buncha daughter i read one with the dead and then i read the fall of the house of usher and i read like half of the summer out and pretty so i'm going to keep on doing that next week if you want to see that you'll be in my next vlog and i hope you enjoyed it that's all <laughs> I had a great day yesterday in case you were wondering and yeah see you soon with another vlog bye